Hey guys, so many of you have been requesting a get ready with me video. So I was getting ready for a date and decided that I wanted to film it for you guys. So I will take you through my entire process from shower to putting my jewelry on and walking out the door. Now I'm not going to do the very simple steps like brushing my teeth and deodorant because those are just self explanatory, but I always get started in the shower. For date night, I love for my hair to smell good and I want a shampoo that the scent is going to linger even after I wash it out. So I love this Bumble and Bumble Foam Wash Shampoo and it smells amazing even when you get out of the shower. And then I just use the matching conditioner that goes with it and it makes my hair super silky soft but also gives it a lot of volume. And then to make sure my skin is as smooth as can be, I use my Bellamy Sugar Scrub. And then I shave using my Chic Quattro for Women razor, which is really gross and disgusting right now. So please don't look that closely at it. And then I use my Skin Demit Shave Gel, which I know everyone's been using the EOS one, but I just can't stop using this and then the Olay Ultra Moisture Body Wash, and then I wash my face with the same Chanel cleanser that I use every single morning and night. Right after I get out of the shower, I love to use this Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar Shimmer and Shea Body Lotion. And then I take my Clinique Toner in number three, and just putting this on a cotton pad, I go ahead and swipe it over my entire face. I like to focus it in the T-zone because that's where I'm most oily. And then I just blend it into the rest of my skin. Then I'm taking my Kate Somerville Oil Free Moisturizer, and I'm just going to dot this all over my face and then just just rub it in. I don't know why today I decided to rub it in with one hand, but it definitely took longer than using two. And this is possibly TMI, but it is about to be that time of the month for me, so excuse that my face is super duper broken out. But for eye cream, I'm using the Yves Saint Laurent eye cream, and I ran out of my bright eyes, so this is just actually a sample that I've been using, but I really like it. I might actually purchase the full size of it because it's just it's really great. So then I'm going to take my Kate Somerville 24 hour pimple punisher so that I can punish my pimples. And I'm just going to apply this anywhere that I have redness and I swear it looks like a red ant colony attacked my face. And then I'm just going to take my hair down, brush through it with a fine tooth comb and put it up in a clip so it's out of my way while I do my makeup. And then I put on my Christian Dior Creme de Rose Lip Balm, which feels so good, I just can't get over it. And thank you, Elle, for getting this for me. I like to start off with my Professional Balm from Benefit Cosmetics, and I just apply this down my nose and then rub it out anywhere that I feel like I have enlarged pores. Then for foundation, I'm taking Benefit's Hello Flawless Foundation, and I'm just going to apply this onto the back of my hand and then stipple it onto my face using a Duo Fiber Flat Top Kabuki Brush. Now, this color doesn't exactly match my skin on my face, but it matches my skin on the rest of my body, so when it's all blended out, it looks just like I had have one skin color but it's interesting when I first stipple it on. Then you want to take a lightweight concealer. This is Max Select Cover Up in NC15 and you want this to be a few shades lighter than your foundation and you're just going to start by applying this underneath your eye. I promise when it's all said and done it'll all be blended out and beautiful and then you want to start going in a triangle motion from your eye down towards your cheek on the side of your nose and just kind of blend it all out. And then I take a makeup sponge and I just go over this area so that I don't have any distinct lines from the lighter shade to the darker shade. Then I'm going to take my Maybelline Cover Stick Corrector in green and I'm going to put this anywhere that I see redness on my skin, so any of my blemishes or discoloration. And then I'm just going to blend this out using a flat top kabuki brush and my finger. Then I'm moving on to a concealer that matches my skin and this is the YSL concealer in number three. And I'm just going to apply this anywhere that I still feel like I need to cover up some redness. 
And then to set this all in place, I'm taking Max Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. I'm in medium plus, and I'm just dusting this all over my face using a big, soft, fluffy brush that feels so good on my skin. And then I'm going to take the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, and using a contouring brush, I'm going to apply this to the hollows of my cheeks, and then also up towards my temples and along my hairline. And this is just gonna give you a really chiseled look give you that Victoria Beckham Kim K contour and then for blush I'm using Max Breath of Plum and I'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks and then extending it back towards my temples so I'm gonna do this on both cheeks so that I'm symmetrical and then for a highlighter I'm taking Max soft and gentle mineralize makeup and I'm just applying this using my fingers on the highlights of my cheeks I don't do this step every day but it's fun if I'm getting ready for a date night now moving on to eyes, I'm going to take my Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eye Primer and blend this from my lid all the way up to my brows. And then I'm going to take MAC's Naked Lunch Eyeshadow and apply this with a big fluffy 224 blending brush from my brow towards my crease. And then I'm going to take Sable by MAC, which is my all-time favorite eyeshadow from MAC. If you can only invest in one MAC eyeshadow, please get this one. It's incredible. But um, yeah little mini excitement is over and I'm just patting this onto my lids using a flat shader brush. This is a MAC 239. And taking more of the sable, I'm going to apply this into my crease using a 217 MAC brush. And I'm also going to pull some of the color from the lid up towards the crease. So you don't need to put a lot on this brush because it can get really overwhelming. Really quickly, you want it to be a gradual fade. And just to deepen up the color of the crease a little bit to give a little more definition, I'm taking Max Corduroy. And using that same brush, I'm just going to apply this starting on the outer corner and then working my way in on the crease. And then I'm taking some sketch eyeshadow and this is actually my second favorite color from MAC and using the same flat shader brush I'm just going to apply this kind of in a V on the outer corner of my eye and then just go ahead and blend this out using the same crease brush and then just go over one more time with Naked Lunch in the highlight. And now I'm just taking sable and sketch mixed together and lining my lower lash line with this to define it a little bit. And then for my brows, I'm using this Brow Bar to Go by Whitening Lightning kit that I picked up when I was at BeautyCon. And I'm just using a, an angled brush to apply this into my brows. And using this, I'm just filling in any sparse areas on my brow. And this really just frames your face and gives a complete look to your overall finished look. And I just think it looks so good. And then I said look 500 times in that sentence and now I'm just taking some clear mascara and I'm going to set my brows. This is going to help the shadow stay locked in there so it doesn't move and also make your brows stay in place. And then you wanna take a black pencil liner. Mine is by Milani and you just wanna line your waterline. And for my upper lash line, I'm taking this L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner Intense. And the packaging was weird because this was actually the first time I was using it. It's a brush tip, just drugstore liquid liner that I wanted to try out. And I actually really, really like it. But the problem with the packaging is once you take it out of the little cardboard container, it doesn't have any sort of description on the actual tube so I feel like if you forget what you bought it's hard to kind of go and find the same exact thing then I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply a really quick coat of a mascara I'm using Smashbox full exposure so you just want this so when you put your false eyelashes on it all kind of blends together and helps hold them up I like using duo eyelash glue I think it's the best eyelash glue don't use the ones that come with your eyelashes and then these Kiss Ever Easy eyelashes in number three are my favorite right now and they're so easy to apply. So I'm just putting the Duo Lash Glue on there and then letting it dry. The trick is to get it to where it's really tacky. So as soon as you set it onto your eyelid, it is just going to hold 
and stick and stay. So I am just applying that onto my upper lash line and then using a brush to pat it down to make sure it's as close to my actual lash line as I can get because I don't want to have any space in between my natural lashes and then the false lashes. So I'm just going to repeat on the other side. And then I'm going to just go back over the line with my liquid liner. It says that the glue dries clear, but sometimes it doesn't. So I just like to do this step. And then you want to make sure that you apply a coat of mascara onto your lower lashes. And then once your lashes are completely dry, do a coat over top of them. If you do this before the glue is all the way dry, it will shift the false lashes. But this just kind of makes them stick together and makes your natural lashes blend in with the fake ones really well. Then I'm gonna take Dervish Lip Liner from MAC and apply this on my lips. First, I'm going to line my lips with it and then I'm actually going to fill them in. And this is a really great color that I recommend to all of you guys out there, no matter what skin color you have. I've never seen someone use this color lip pencil and it not look absolutely amazing. So again, make sure that you're lining the lips and then you completely fill them in. And then I'm taking Twig Lipstick by MAC and I'm going to dab this onto my lips. I like dabbing it more than completely rubbing it on because it shears out the pigmentation just a little bit and I think that it just looks better. And then for lip gloss, I'm using Max Underage, which is like a staple go-to for me. I don't know what I would do without it, honestly. So I'm just going to apply this on my lips and then I am done with my makeup. So now we are moving on to the hair and my hair is actually almost all the way dry so I'm just taking it out of the clip and I'm going to apply some Redken Satin Wear Blow Dry Lotion mainly to the ends and then I'm going to take some macadamia oil and apply this again mainly to the ends but then just kind of bring it up a little bit and these two products have really helped my hair get a lot healthier and I'm just going to blow dry the hair and it doesn't take that long for me to blow dry my hair if I've let it sit while I was doing my makeup because it's pretty much all the way dry anyways. So now I'm just gonna be a moldle and then I am spritzing some Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray in my hair and then once that dries, I'm just going to part my hair so that I don't have to do that later and clearly it takes me an hour to part my hair. And then for curls, I wanted to do just a very simple look. I didn't wanna be too put together, like I tried too hard, but I wanted to look good. So I am just taking, I believe this is a 7 8 inch curling iron, and so if not, it's and a I'm just wrapping the hair away from my face around the curling iron and holding it until the hair is slightly warm and then releasing it. It's a really simple look. You don't have to worry about clipping your hair into different sections. I believe I'm doing five curls on one side and four on the other, so really quick and easy. And I don't know why I was like super serious, except for that part, during the filming of this. I think I was listening to a sad song. Then I'm just gonna spray the whole thing with Flexible Hold Hairspray, and then I'm gonna take little sections on the top of my head, spray that with Firm Hold Hairspray, and then tease it. It doesn't take a lot to tease your hair. A lot of people think you really have to go at it, but just a few times going up and down, and you will get it. And then I'm going to repeat this on the other side, and then do it again in a section at the back of my hair so that you get that snooky esque poof kind of from the profile. And then you wanna brush through these curls so they're more casual, and then also make sure you smooth out around your hairline. And we're done with the hair. the outfit I knew that I wanted to do a dressier look that had a casual twist because I didn't know where exactly we were going it was kind of a surprise so I wanted to make sure that I did something that if we were going to a fancy place I would fit in but I also wouldn't be overdressed if we went somewhere a little more casual I wanted to center my entire outfit around this sequin skirt by Aqua and so I just paired a classic black American rag tank top with it and then I took this Forever 21 cardigan to give it more of a casual twist and I paired it with my Steve Madden black suede pumps 
and then I took my black and gold Chanel bag and then I laid out a bunch of gold jewelry so that I could have some arm candy and you can see that when I put the cardigan on it surprisingly goes the casualness of the cardigan with the dressiness of the skirt it makes for a really nice just chill outfit So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more Get Ready With Me videos like this, then go ahead and thumbs up this video and then favorite it and leave a comment below letting me know what type of event you wanna see me getting ready for and I will do my best to film that. So thanks so much for watching, bye.